my name is Jack Guy and welcome to PlayStation VR. I've, I have a lot of VR head kits. I've done the Vive and I've done the Rift and this is a new one that's come out by Sony for the PlayStation that I've really been looking forward to doing or to getting and trying out and seeing what kind of games are on it and all that kind of stuff because this this is a special one the other ones are for like high-end computers those types of things and not everyone has that and they cost a lot of money this i can't remember how much this costs but this is a cheaper version of those ones and a lot of people have ps4s already so this is the kind of vr headset that's going to sell vr to the masses this is the one that's going to go out to people and a lot of people are likely going to buy this and it's probably going to get the most support from game developers because Sony are making it and they're going to try and implement it in more stuff so this one is really exciting and I'm really looking forward to seeing how, how it compares to the others. It's probably going to be worse just for the fact that it's cheaper but we'll see how much worse or even if it is worse at all but I, so far I absolutely love how easy it is to set up because you, pull, you push a button on the back, you pull this thing, it just sits on your head um, get my fucking hair out of the way like that and then you can pull this in and out like the actual screen So pull it close to your eyes and then tighten this on the back of your head and you're done. That's it. I mean Oh God, what did I press? Oh, I think I pressed my volume down and the headphones are attached just into this and the sound is actually pretty damn decent from them and it has like this whole 3d surround sound type of thing going on Which is really very nice. Um Okay, let me see if I can grab the fucking thing. Okay, this part is not so nice. Where the hell is the thing? Oh, there it is. I need to up the volume. Right, and the controllers I'm using are these things. They are the, the move controllers. You've probably seen them before. They've been out on PlayStation for years. Um, but these are the, the controllers of choice for this type of thing. You can use a standard PlayStation controller if you want, but I have it calibrated to use these little bad boys, which is great. So I'm gonna get in a new story. Oh, by the way, I, I got in just to test it out. This is the Until Dawn Rush of Blood VR thing. So y'all know Until Dawn. I played it on the channel before. What the fuck was that? I played Until Dawn on the channel before. It was a fantastic game. I love that so much. It's one of my favorite series that I've done on the channel as well. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, new story, yes. Let's do it. Uh, let's go on easy. Because I don't trust myself with this. I don't trust myself to do anything remotely hard. Hello! Welcome, my friend. And step right up to the ride of your life. There are <laughs> wonders beyond this door that will test your skill and Woo! test your will. Do we have a winner here today? Hell yeah! Shoot the targets. Shoot the targets. <laughs> and try your best not to die, of course. Dude, I am going to be the if best! If it's so simple, then by all means, show me what you're made of. Okay. All you have to do is point your weapon right over here at this sign. There's and nothing over there. The trigger. Okay. Oh, that one. <laughs> Dude, I'm a regular. I'm a fucking natural. <laughs> the the lights help. Bye. Have fun. Okay. He was creepy. I didn't like him. This is fun. <laughs> oh God. Hello! <laughs> Let's fucking do it! Let's get spooked! Let's get scared! Man, I fucking love VR! It's so much fun! Can I touch it? I wanna touch it! I wanna touch it! Ah, pink! <laughs> Hopefully this is recording well, too. I have absolutely no idea what it's gonna be like recording a PlayStation VR headset. Oh, okay. Hey, it's my friend again! Hello! Okay, the game told me to hold my hands like this. That doesn't look stupid at all. Unsafe, keep out. Well, I'm kind of on rails. One minute we stop, one minute we go. Just wait and see what's around the bend, and I'll see you when you reach the end. You sound a lot like the guy from Alone in the Dark. Oh! Oh, this is fun! Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking awesome with this. Oh, God, the tracking is way off, though. What the fuck? Oh god, that's gonna get annoying. I guess I'd have to stand like way further back for it to track stuff properly. Because this uses like a little camera that's up here in front of me that I can't really point to properly right now. So the tracking might be a tiny bit off. Come on, ah, I need to reload. I got it. Ha. No! I was doing so well! More? Yes! Fucking ducks! 
Oh god, I'm missing some! That's not good! Look at these skills! <sighs> Thanks, bro! X, go give it to you! Go give it to you, X, go give it to you! Oh, yes! More! 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 I'm bad at multi multitasking! <laughs> God, I'm fucking destroying everything! Ah! Shut him down. Shoot him! Shoot them all! Shoot everybody! Get away to Morris and, and Peter! Fuck's sake! Ah, God! <laughs> yes! I'm doing well! I mean, there's a lot of shit that I'm missing, but it's hard! I don't have all the room in the world over here! Because I didn't want to set it up the way I set up all the other VR headsets. Is that supposed to be there? Because it was a little bit different. Okay, that's cool. You ever hear the one about the guy who got stuck on a carousel and couldn't get off? No! Yeah, even with all the grease from the horses. <laughs> Do you mean the guy who couldn't get off like he couldn't jack off while on the carousel? Because that I'd understand. I'd have a hard time doing that as well. All right, all right. Just warming up. Just warming up. Fucking balloons! Shoot them all! Shoot all the balloons! Shit! Ah, I fucking miss him! Ah! Get away! God, this is hard! There's too much shit on screen! What? I'm not- I can't hear you! I'm too busy shooting shit! Ah! Shoot you on the ground? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do! Oh god, do I have to get out of the way? Here we go! Nice! Ah, did I get hit? What? Ah! Ah, this is Nino! It's spooky scary! Um, yeah, I probably should stand further back, but I didn't set this up like all the other VR stuff because... Hello? I was originally going to sit down to play Some it. Some days you just don't feel at one with yourself. I agree. Some days shit just goes off the rails. So, next time I do something in VR, I'll probably set it up like I do the Vive videos, because this tracking, I go outside the play area way too easily. Because the camera's so close to me, so... Nice oh! You, oh! Good! <laughs> hey! Come back! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I love roller coasters! <laughs> Where are you going, friend? I need help! Need... Oh, what's that? I got one! Oh god, am I supposed to be still shooting shit? Ah, balls! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> There's another thing up there! Nice! Oh, I could have juggled it! Fuck you! What the fuck? Ah, oh, shit! Oh god, oh god, oh shit! Um! Oh! Oh fucking hell, Christ! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me! Son of a bitch! Do I have to shoot these? Okay, cool, I did it! Oh god, now the real horror begins. I don't like this. Was that Josh? I thought I was Josh. I look like I'm dressed like him. Looks like we're on the wrong path. It seems we've landed on the old ghost train. I have real guns now! Wait, can I shoot people? I don't want to just shoot fucking boxes. <laughs> Even though I am quite fucking good at it. Ah! Oh, fucking Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I take it back. I don't want to shoot them anymore. Oh, God, it scared the fuck out of me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh god, there's stuff to shoot everywhere! This is really hard! Okay, track my fucking hands again, please. Fuck yeah! Oh, regular old fucking revolver ocelot! I see you! Who's in there? Who goes there? What is it? Did anything spook me? Stuck! 
I, I, I take it back! I take it back! I, I, I didn't mean it! Fucking horse! Ah! What the fuck? Shut it off! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't like it! I don't like this! Stop it! No! <laughs> I want to go home now. <laughs> Duck. Let's make his boots. Oh, hi, 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 fucker. No! God, I'm very violent. What's going on? What oh, fuck? Ah, Jesus fucking Christ! Ah! Oh, I don't like this. Fuck! Was that one of my friends? Shut up! I don't like knock knock jokes! What the fuck? What do we do? What do we do? Okay, show me a movie. Show me Shrek. I love Shrek. Hey, that's until dawn! No! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh! Oh, yes! I wanted to see if I could actually shoot him in the face! I guess I could. Yeah! Oh, drive over him! Grind him into fucking dust! Is he, is he still back there? Hey! 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 Oh, yeah! <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! Shoot the fucking thing! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck you! Jesus Christ, that's loud! Anybody else want some? Oh! You didn't die, did you? Fuck! 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 Fuck you! Shut up! I don't like this! Ah, oh, shit. I missed everything. Whew. That's one way of doing it. Ah, oh, crap. There's lots of shit to shoot in here. I missed it all. Ah, oh, no. Who's making sounds? I'm not too worried about my score. I'm more worried about dying. God almighty, this is not like shooting in real life at all. Are those all bits of pigs? Ew! That's fucking gross! Ah, oh, now I'm getting the swing of it. The whole reloading thing. Pushk! Pushk! Die, you motherfucker! Okay, I'ma just stay here. You wanna be friends? <laughs> Okay, that's that's a solemn no right there. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, you think that's funny, do you? You think it's fucking funny, do you? Oh! See you laughing on a fucking face. You shut the fuck up, Campbell's cup of soup. Thought I could shoot that. I guess not. It's just gonna make sounds. That's cool. Could you shut up? Sir? God, my aim is fucking awesome right now. <laughs> hey, they don't blow up. It's very loud. Hello? What's happening? It's too loud! I don't know what's going on! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh.
Sit back, relax, deep breaths. Who? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay! <laughs> My accuracy was 53%! A minus! That's not so bad! Hey Ma! Ma, I got an A! It's an A minus, but it's still an A! Can't fucking judge me for that! Okay! Well, I'm gonna leave this episode of, uh, pulling my own hair out, um, here. That was cool! That was so much fun! It was a lot more fun than I was expecting, but yeah. Next time, I need to, like, stand way back and actually shoot shit. I didn't think, because I was originally sitting down gonna play it, and then I realized that, I don't know, it, it might be better if I have more range of motion like this, and then I get to stand further back and aim at the cameras, but you're, like, right, like, the camera's right here. So I'm right up on top of it whenever I'm, like, shooting stuff, so it, it might be bad that way, so maybe... Because what I think is that it tracks the colors, like the lights that are on these, and then the, the VR headset itself also has lights on it, so I don't know if these lights affect it. It's probably better in a completely dark room and sit in a moderate distance back, and then it would probably track everything perfectly, so I don't wanna, I don't want to judge it too harshly on that, <coughs> because... It'll take tweaking. I likely haven't got it set up properly yet, but that was way more fun than I was expecting it to be. Because when I thought of PlayStation VR, I was like, okay, it's going to be a, a more affordable option, but it's also probably going to be a bit clunkier. It's probably not going to be as good. It's probably not going to be as immersive or track your head all that well. Um, just, just because it was going to be cheaper, but it tracked my head very, very well. Again, the controllers are like right here. It's like if I was like this using the controllers. Um, so I'll try that again next time and see if it still has the same issues with tracking and everything, even standing further back in a dark room, then maybe it's the PlayStation thing. But really, really good. I say, as far as screen resolution, it's obviously lower resolution than what I'd be used to in the Vive. Like, I play, I've played a lot in my Vive. I know what the VR looks like inside that. It does have... I'm gonna get a bit technical for a little second. The, the big thing with VR is frame rate and like how fluid everything is and then sheer pixel density on screen how uh, like because you can see the pixels in VR don't be fooled this is not like going in and like looking at your monitor like this it's not like looking at a monitor up close like this it's like a magnified up close monitor so you see all the individual pixels in a lot of them this was really good though this you for for the VRs that I have here you can't see it as much as the old ones as when I tried those this is actually pretty damn good I thought it'd be way worse but stuff in the distance that's where a lot uh, like large resolution will help uh, ideally we'd love to have 8k images per eye at like 120 FPS or something like that for perfect VR but that's fucking that's ages away if at all so having like there's a lot of pixel density in that but you can still see like stuff in the distance is very jagged, it's very blurry, it's hard to see stuff in the distance. So this was helped a lot by everything being indoors, but like playing an open world game is gonna look shit in VR, because all the stuff in the distance is gonna look really really bad. Um, the, Vi the Vive is probably the best I have so far in regards to that, but again I haven't played with my Rift all that much. Um, not to diss this though, this was a lot better than I was expecting, because this is a considerably lower resolution. From what I remember, from what I know, or what I think I know, is that the Vive is 1080p per eye, like 1080p in this eye and 1080p in this eye. This is 1080p shared across both eyes. I might be completely wrong on that, but I, I, I think I remember that that's what it was. So I was expecting it to be really, really blurry and really bad, but the screen door effect is another thing that people talk a lot about, is this mesh that you see. It's like if you have like a screen door in your house or like a fire guard or anything like that, anything with like a lattice or a mesh, like a steel mesh, or whatever. Um, kind of like a fly swatter kind of thing. It, 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 you see that a lot with the, the Vive and the Rift, because of the types of lenses that they use and stuff like that. So you see this, like, grid. It's not that noticeable when you get into the game, and it's a lot more noticeable as, like, white backgrounds, and, like, or white text on dark backgrounds. Um, and then you see all this, like, blurring of lines and everything. Um, if you don't know anything about VR, this is probably all, like, mumbo-jumbo talk. Um, but I know there's a lot of people out there who tried out all these things and want to know more about the different VRs that are out there. Um, this didn't have as much of that. There's definitely something there that if you're on, if you're just looking at like a white background in this, you can definitely still see some sort of texture across it. I don't know what it is. I thought it was the pixels at first. I thought it was the screen door effect, but it looks a little different than it, so I don't know what it is. 
but you can definitely still see it. None of these are perfect. None of these are, like, looking at just like your monitor the way I'd be looking at it right now. None of them are like that. You can definitely still see all the pixels. You can see all the jaggedness of everything. You can definitely see the shortcomings of them. But this is way better than I was expecting it to be. This is a really great solution if you're- if you don't have the money to buy the Rift or the Vive. This is definitely going to give you a very, very similar experience. Um, not the room scale experience, because the Vive you can get up and actually like walk around your room. This, I don't think you can do that, which kind of sucks. You still have the range of motion like this though, which is very nice. Um, so it's limited in that regard, but it's, it, again, it's way better than I was expecting it, to, expecting it to be. So if you've ever seen me play like with the Vive or the Rift, and you're thinking that you can't afford that, and you're waiting for this to come out, and you can't afford this, this is definitely a very good alternative. This is very, very good. I... Not only that, but it's super comfortable as well. And putting it on my head felt very, very nice, and it it blocks out a lot of the outside image. And it feels like it has a wider FOV. Maybe that's just because I can't remember what the FOV in the Vive is. But it's it's really, really good. And coupled with these, it's not like these aren't the best, but it, they're, they were pretty damn good for what they had to do. So I'm, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, I wasn't paid to say any of this, by the way. I'm just giving an honest opinion because I do a lot of VR stuff, and I know... A lot of people were waiting for this to come out and waiting for me to, like, give my thoughts on it to see what it was like. So this is definitely good. And, I did- this was an incredibly easy setup. Sticking this into the PlayStation, it comes with an extra box. A HDMI goes from your PlayStation into the box, and then the box into your monitor. For, with, for me, it's into the capture card. Um, and then after that, it was just like, put it on, press the button, and you were able to see the PlayStation menu inside this. Um, and then it was like looking at a big cinema screen. So, and then I was able to go off and just play something like Bloodborne in this. So, if you have your PlayStation in your room and there's no TV in your room, you could just stick this on over your head and play your games like that with that on your head. It's really, really cool. I really like that. The, the Vive and the Rift kind of have stuff like that as well, but there are extra downloads. This was just turn it on and it's good to go. So, very, very impressive. Incredibly easy setup. Setting up the camera and everything. It was all just like that. I just turned stuff on and it worked. Um... So, very, very impressed. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this here before I talk too much, but I can't wait to play more stuff. I did get Drive Club um, VR as well. I might do more of this if you want to see more of this. I have no idea. So now we have lots of VR options. It's a shame that the Rift is getting put in the back burner because they don't have the controllers for it because they didn't come. But I can pre-order them now, thankfully. Um, so hopefully we can get them eventually, but yay! More VR! I can't wait to see where this goes because the Sony one, I'm hoping, is gonna be a thing that uh, like pushes a lot of developers to make stuff for it and Sony support it and make first party games for it. I'm really, really looking forward to this. I hope VR is strong in the future, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Bye bye the road! Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys! Now we'll see all you dudes! What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> Sprinkles! <laughs> oh my god! This is a fucking coolest! I feel like I wanna eat these like ice cream. Yeah. 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 <laughs>